The No Animals Were Harmed stamp that you see at the end of the movie is very misleading. Um, it comes from the American Humane Association, which sends film monitors onto sets where animals are being used. The problem with that stamp is that the AHA's um, authority only extends to what happens on a film set. And so it very well may be true that no chimp was harmed on the film set. But that's exactly because all of the abuse and training that goes into it behind the scenes, um, it occurs on the compounds and during training and before they ever get to the set. So the AHA doesn't have any authority to regulate or govern what goes on on chimpanzee training compounds, and that's where all the abuse goes on. Um, they, the trainers need to create that control behind the scenes so that when they get them to the set, the chimps are behaving and they don't have to um, use that abuse because you're not gonna you're not gonna punch a baby chimp in, in the head in front of Nicole Kidman or you know some impressive director or producer. Um, so it's it's very it's it's a very um, good disguise that they put on essentially that they do all this stuff behind the scenes so that when they take them onto set, all they need to do is threaten or gesture or do some kind of um, little behavior that the chimps will pick up because the chimps pick up on nonverbal behavior very well to remind them I'm in charge and you need to be on your best behavior here. I saw the chimpanzees at Amazing Animal Actors being abused for all sorts of reasons and sometimes they were punished um, if they ran away or bit someone. It was very common for a young chimpanzee to bite. Um, and so they were struck um, or kicked or had something thrown at them for those kinds of behaviors. But they also sometimes just got hit out of the blue by the head trainer. Um, and my sense was that he did that to keep them focused and keep them paying attention to him so that they were never looking around or um, doing something that might, um, when they are on a set, that might get them in trouble. Um, and sometimes it was for things that were, again, really natural for a chimp to do. Um, so Apollo, on one occasion, um, reached out his hand to greet Angel. And greeting for chimps is very, very normal, and it's, a, it's an innate behavior um, that he just kind of reached out to, to touch Angel as she went by. They, they were both out of their cages with different trainers. Um, and Apollo was instantly struck um, in punishment for that. And it's something that... Um, it, it was just something normal that he that he did. It wasn't um, it wasn't really even anything bad. Um, but the the trainer picked that moment to assert his dominance and to say, no, you're not paying attention to her. You're paying attention to me. The treatment that chimpanzees receive on training compounds is not legal. However, it's very hidden and it's very hard to get criminal prosecutions to um, to focus on this when there's so much else going on. Um, it's a violation also of the regulations under, promulgated under the Animal Welfare Act, um, which say very specifically that physical abuse shall not be used to train any animals. Um, unfortunately, it's just so hidden um, and people aren't willing to talk about it because it's been going on for so long that it just doesn't get um, the attention that it, it deserves in the sort of criminal area.